Okay guys, here it is, the latest White Dwarf. September edition of White Dwarf is out and very fittingly, Gortrek is on the front. There is a code here for Gortrek and Felix in Total Warhammer 2. I don't have it. If anybody would like it, the first person to email me at the Dark Artisan 40k at gmail.com gets that code. So, without further ado, let's see what is inside this issue. Apparently, there's quite a lot of uh, Dark Angel stuff in here. Uh, let's have a look. So, a whole section about Dark Angels. We've got some new Kill Team stuff. Uh, and we've got the new guys from the uh, Blackstone Fortress expansion. Some Major Sigma stuff. And more Dark Angels. So let's have a look. Wow. I like them Ice Orcs. I like Blue Orcs. I like Dark Armored Orcs. These are fantastic. And I wish I'd done mine like that. However, this weird knob is fantastic. And Typhus. Wow. That's awesome. I don't like him holding the Reaper up. I'm just getting mine through from Conquest. So I think I'll probably be swapping his arms around uh, to something quite similar. But I think we'll have a Space Marine on there instead. So who are these by? Let's have a look. Ryan Peterson. I don't know any of those guys. But model of the month is this from uh, the Caradron Overlords. Really nice stuff. Lots of background lore. 40k night on night action me and Ian had a fantastic night on night game um, a few weeks back when the night codex came out what else have we got so we've got the howling griffins an article on them as well as some necrons as well and here we go is this the dark angels yes it is so they've basically expanded on the lore a little bit from what I understand um, with the dark angels uh, and we actually played against uh, Ian's Dark Angels the other day. And they're not so good. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. They need a little bit of help. Now, considering this is supposed to be an index, I was actually quite surprised that there's no extra benefits at the moment in these. So they've updated, obviously, some of the lore. They've progressed the story for them a little bit. Uh, I understand that one of the captains is dead. There's a lot uh, of stuff here. Um... See, there's even details on the combat doctrines, yet they don't get them yet. And this doesn't give them. So, there's a unique um, uh, battle that you can play with them, uh, with access to some stratagems which can only be used uh, in this battle plan. Which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. I do like the look of the Dark Angel Zone. I wish Aim would bring them out a little bit more. They're just very underwhelming, unfortunately. So we've got a Deathwing, Redemptive Dreadnought. I like the base, actually. That's a really nice snowy base. We've got some Frozen Wastelands of the Space Wolves. Wow, I like that Death Guard as well. Very, very nice. The Torox with the giant uh, dozer on the front is fantastic. I love this as well, the Ridge Runner. Really, really nice. I think this guy's had his um, towel featured in um, White Dwarf before. Oh, here we go. Scenic bases and bits of scenery. I love the old school um, how-tos and builds and stuff that, that they're doing here, which is, is you know very reminiscent of the old how to build war game and terrain, uh, which I was very happy with. Um, so here we've got the Escalation for the Blackstone Fortress minis to use them in Kill Team. Which is very, very cool that they're actually using uh, those models to expand into Kill Team as well, which is very cool. And of course Warcry. Warcry is coming to the channel. We've painted all the minis up uh, from the starter set and we've got the Monsters and Mercenaries book as well. So that will be coming to the channel very soon. And of course we've got rules of engagement there for the uh, Sigma Battle Report. All of this terrain as well, we finally got painted up. You will be seeing it in a Battle Report probably next week. Because something very spooky is coming to the channel. Uh, and a new battle mat and some new terrain. But on the subject of something spooky. There we go. <laughs> 
So yeah, Lucy's got a new army, but uh, all of this terrain is painted up and ready to go. So yeah, I'll be giving that a read later. Oh man, I love the Gloom Spike Mushrooms. When six tribes go to war. So we've got details of each of the war bands there for Warcry. And it looks as though this is a little bit of a campaign expedition. It's got some of the, oh no, I thought that was the uh, uh, the leader, but it's not. But still, me and Lucy had a, a couple of very quick games of this, and I like it. It's very, very fast-paced and easy to keep track of, I think, uh, and very enjoyable. There's nothing too strenuous about it. It's very quick and easy playing. A fantastic game for people who just want to play a game in like 20 minutes. So it's actually following through the entire campaign, uh, which I'll be certain to give a read a little bit later on. We've even got the Arena of Blood as well, so for some more campaign special event rules. The amount that they are fleshing out these games is absolutely fantastic. The Monster and Mercenary book is just rammed with rules and scenarios. Very, very cool. So yeah, we've got the entire campaign there. We've got glory points for Underworld's Night Vault. Now, Night Vault unfortunately is coming to an end because Beast Grave is coming very soon. It's actually on, available for pre-order this weekend. Um, but some very, very cool models. Oh, wow. Golden Demon. Such awesomeness. I mean, look at that aberrant man. With Greyfax there. That Malignant Playcaster is just out of this world. The guy from, um, oh, what's it called, Blackstone Fortress. I love the Blackstone steps that they've got. Some old school Sisters of Battle. Voldus and um, Greyfax there. And a Wraith Knight on... Well, a Farseer on the Wraith Knight sword, wow. It's... I don't quite understand the pause and why it's just like half a Wraith Knight. But, it's pretty cool. So, Primaris Librarian taking on a Gene Steeler Cult Magus. Very, very cool. Looks like it's actually a Blood Angel Librarian as well. And then we've got the Fallen Celestine with a Baden... Look at the details on his face there, man. That's just... With the lightning ball, it's outstanding. The work on the rock and everything is, is phenomenal. Now that is a piece of work. That is absolutely fantastic. That is tremendous. Outstanding stuff. That is really, really nice. I like that a lot. Um... I can see how he's done this. He's used clear resin and poured it over a bottle. He's probably cut a bottle in half and then painted the resin on. Um, and then done that. And then little bits of mesh wire from the inside. Very, very cool. We've got Greyfax. And a couple of uh, Marines fighting the, um, oh, the Zinch guy. I can't remember his name now. Absolutely amazing dioramas here. And then we've got rules for the Brogan Brothers in Blackstone Fortress, which was the Brothers of Ogrins. So all three of them have full rules, as well as a specific mission for them. And then Gotrek! I've been uh, painting Gotrek up on Twitch, so if you're not following us on Twitch, make sure you do. We do live hobby streams every Monday night. Uh, and if you're lucky and we're filming a game during the week, it will occasionally get live streamed as well. So make sure you are following. But yeah, Gortrek is an amazing model. Uh, and I really love the lore around him as well, so I'm actually tempted to pick up Realm Slayer. But lots of background art and stuff for him there as well. And I've actually I've actually recently just given away uh, this week a Gortrek model to uh, our Patreons, uh, so congratulations to Jacob who won that, um, so yeah, make sure you do support us via Patreon for monthly exclusive content and giveaways, 
Uh, and then we've got some Lord of the Rings action there as well. And then inside the studio at Warhammer World as well. And that Bane Blade is fantastic. I know it's not Bane Blade, it's a Storm Hammer, I want to say. Ali will tell us off for that, but yeah, a very, very action packed um, issue. There's lots and lots of stuff to read there, in particular for the uh, expanded games uh, and specialist games. I'm going to be very interested in the Warcry stuff because it's a game that I'm desperately trying to get further into uh, and I love it a lot. So there you go guys, that is the September issue of White Dwarf. Thank you very much for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel.